In this video, I want to walk through and show you how we can find the exact value for the sine of 33 degrees. And we're going to do so using the sum identity for sine, which says the sine of, and inside here we have the sum of two angles, A and B, and I can expand this as the sine of A, the first angle, times cosine of B, the second angle, and then plus sine of B times cosine A. All right, now here I have written four values, the sine of 15 degrees, 18, 72, and 75. These are values that we'll need in this computation, but uh, you'll see down in the video description, I have links to these four videos where I've worked out from scratch these values. So I'm going to need these values to find the sine of 33 degrees, but I'm not going to take the time in this video to show you where all four of these values come from. We're relying on the previous videos so we can put them together to find this value for the sine of 33. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to use the sine of, and I need two angles that add to make 33 degrees. So I'm going to use 15 degrees and 18 degrees. So when I do that and expand this, it'll be the sine of 15 degrees times the cosine of 18 degrees plus the sine of 18 degrees times the cosine of 15 degrees. Okay, well you'll see that the four values that I have written here are all sine values, but down in my formula I have some cosines here. Well, sine and cosine have a really nice relationship where the cosine of one angle, say 18 degrees, is the same as the sine of the complement of this angle. So remember that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Or in order to find the complement of 18 degrees, it's just 90 minus 18 degrees, and that will be 72 degrees. So the cosine of 18 degrees will be the same value as the sine of 72 degrees because of that complementary relationship. Okay, so we have the sine of 15 degrees which is going to be the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4 and the cosine of 18 degrees which uh, we've just said is equivalent to the sine of 72 degrees is going to be the square root of 2 over 4 and then times this square root expression 5 plus radical 5 inside there. Okay so here now the sine of 18 degrees and we'll say that's going to be 1 fourth of the square root of 5 minus 1 and then times the cosine of 15 degrees, well, that's the same relationship here. The sine of 75 degrees will be the same as the cosine of 15 degrees, and again, because of that complementary relationship. So we'll use this last one here, the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, all over 4. Okay, so we have kind of this big, long, complicated expression, lots of square roots, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and just simplify that as much as we can. So I'm going to start by taking the square root of 2 and distributing them to these two terms. And you'll notice then that what I'll end up with is the square root of 12 minus the square root of 4. But those can be reduced down to twice the square root of 3 minus 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And then times this square root expression. Okay. And it looks like the denominators here, the square root of 4, I'm sorry, 4 and 4 make uh, 1 16th. And inside here we'll have the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, and then in the other one the square root of 5 minus 1. And there's a little bit of cleanup here that we can do. I noticed that I could factor a 2 out of these uh, right here and cancel them with a 2 here. And uh, I'll have a, a 1 8 that I could really have here, and then inside the parentheses, radical 3 minus 1, and then times that square root expression. And then here I could factor out this, a square root of 2. So I'll have the square root of 2 over 16, and the, end up with there the square root of 3 plus 1, and the square root of 5 minus 1. So we're going to say this expression here is going to be the exact value for the sine of 33 degrees. But, you know, just to make sure, let's go ahead and grab a calculator and we'll plug it in to make sure that it works. Okay, here's our calculator. So let's go ahead and we'll do the inverse of sine and then we'll stick this entire expression in and see if we can get 33 degrees out of it. So to first we have the 1 8th 
and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 3 minus 1, and we'll multiply that by that square root expression right there. And then we have plus the square root of 2 divided by 16, and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 3 plus 1, and multiply that by the square root of 5 minus 1. And when I hit enter, ah, 33 degrees, yeah. So we know that the sine of 33 degrees can be given by this expression, and we did it by using the sum identity for sine and breaking 33 down into 15 plus 18, all right, and then we had to use these values. And once again, these values were found from scratch in other videos, and those videos are linked down in the description for this video. So you can see where these values came from, and that's probably a much more interesting video looking at these than was this one, since all we did was just use a quick sine identity and go from there. So here, though, is the exact value for the sine of 33 degrees.